All right, let's go ahead and solve this problem. Um, again, if you look at this, we have two variables. Um, I can automatically say that these are supplementary angles. So I could write an equation, 3y plus 40 equals 3x minus 70. However, that gives us a big problem, doesn't it? Because we don't have a y, or I'm sorry, our y and our x, we can't solve for one in terms of the other. We actually need to find a value. That's what they're asking us. They're finding, they want us to find a value of y and find the value of x. Well, we can only have one variable in one equation and when we're solving for that one variable. So what I need to do is I need to create an equation that only deals with a ver what the variable I need to solve for. Well, I have parallel lines, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend those parallel lines. And the reason why I want to extend those parallel lines is because when I have parallel lines, I know that I have alternate interior angles and corresponding angles. I'm also going to extend these, num these lines because these are what we call transversals. Anytime you have a line that crosses two parallel lines, we call it a transversal. So what I notice here with my, trans with my parallel lines is, let's see, my parallel lines and my transversal, these are in our same side interior. And same side interior add up to 180. Do I know what that other angle is? No, I don't. So we don't even know what this angle is either. So, um, so add these up. So let's solve for x. So I subtract 120. X equals 60. Now, I can figure out what this angle is by plugging 60 in for X. So 3 times 60 minus 70. 3 times 60 is 180, minus 70 is 110. All right. Now, what do you know about two angles that make up a straight line? They're supplementary, meaning they add up to 180. So I can say 3y plus 40 is equal to 110. seeing a, a explicit mistake right now. These two add up to 180. 60. Plug 60 into there. 3 times 60 is 180. 180 minus 7 is 110. 110 in this add up to add up to 180. Oh my god. Why do I keep on doing this? Of course you know these don't equal to each other, right? 3y plus 40 plus 110 equals 180. I keep on making that mistake, and it's very common for a lot of you guys to make that mistake. So um, I make that mistake because I a lot of times go through too quickly, and I'm doing a video, and I'm just kind of getting flustered. But you guys just always got to think of that, where you have to remember your definitions. You have to, and see, I have the definitions well enough that I know, oh, okay, I made that mistake. But if you're trying to think, oh, well, did I do it correctly or not? Well, then you're not going to obviously know that you made that mistake. You might just think it is going to be um, what your answer was. But I positively know that two angles that are supplementary, meaning they make a straight line, add up to give you 180. So therefore, I get 3y is equal to 1, 3y plus 150 equals 180. Subtract 150, 3y equals 30. Divide by 3, y is equal to 10. So therefore, I've figured out what x is and what y is.